I think that sobriety and recovery is a spiritual topic. It just is because it's 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 a surrender. It's it's a release. It's not something that can be white knuckled. It's not something that can be done, you know, because we're just forcing ourselves to do it. In that forceful nature, we will always fall back. So talk to me about how important it is to surrender to a higher power and to acknowledge that you have a higher power. I teach a, a metaphysical text called A Course in Miracles and, and A Course in Miracles has this beautiful message that says, the presence of fear is a sure sign that you're relying on your own strength. And so that sort of like sums up for me what that relationship to a higher power means is that when we're relying on our own strength and we have disconnected from a presence greater than us, then that's when fear sets in. That's when addiction shows up. That's when we start to feel really disconnected from our lives. What do you say to people that are like, oh, really? Miracles? This is all new age hooey. I don't, you know, believe in that stuff. You know, simply put, a miracle is a, is a shift in perception. It's just when we change our mind. And so, you know, the moment that somebody says, I want to get clean, that's a miracle because they've just chosen their mind about something. So it's, it's not such a big, you know, baffling moment in life. It can actually just be a moment when we say, I choose to see this differently. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Bernstein, and I believe that a spiritual path is the road to recovery.